I'm Gab Mac Roberts, and I'm joined today by Anna Koch. She's with Sustainable Sandhills, and we're here to talk about recycling. Now, Anna, when we think about recycling, we usually think about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Why don't we start with recycle real quick? So what's the one most important message you want people to know? That message would be, remember the blue bin is for recycling. Um, so you can recycle paper, cardboard, plastic, glass, metal, all in the same bin. Just remember, blue is recycling. And if you forget, the recyclable items are listed on the top of the bin. It does make it easier. And once it comes all into this blue bin, where does it go? How is that reused? So waste management hauls are recycling. If you have curbside pickup, their truck will pick it up and take it to Pratt Recycling, which is our materials recovery facility. And at Pet Recycling, they sort it and sell it to different companies to be made into something new. So, for example, the uh, plastic number one, or PET plastic, those items are taken to Clearpath Recycling. And they're made into plastic fibers and plastic flooring and things like that. The plastic number two, or HDP, is taken to Envision Plastics and they make it into plastic bottles and things like that. And then paper and cardboard are taken to a different Pratt facility where they're made into uh, new cardboard boxes and cardboard displays. And, and also, we, we got to remember, there's also aluminum cans can be recycled and yes. glass bottles. That's an important part of that uh, recycling triangle uh, to, to repurpose all those materials. And you know, what I think I love about the Fable program is the fact that it's being sorted out by the contractor. The resident doesn't have to do any of the sorting, which makes it really easy for people to participate. Um, so what's the second most important thing you want people to understand about the recycling cards? The second thing would be don't put plastic bags in the recycling. And this, in, this includes anything that can tangle up the machines at Pratt Recycling. So that would be plastic bags, hoses, uh, electrical cords, um, all that causes a problem at the facility. Um, it, and the number two contaminant is, is food waste. So it's really important to rinse your recyclables and, uh, and it helps make the process more efficient. You know, when I started learning about recycling and, and putting together educational programs, I was surprised to discover I'm not supposed to put cardboard boxes that my pizza came in because of that food waste. That grease can actually make that cardboard uh, unusable. Is there anything else that we need to make sure uh, may seem like it's recyclable, but we don't want to put into the blue cards? Yes, yeah, so electronics, things with cords, tires, um, those are technically recyclable, but not in uh, your blue curbside bin. Remember, anything that's listed on the top, those are the only things you can put in there. But you can recycle those easily at any of the 16 Cumberland County container sites. And so those are listed at cumberlandcountync.gov. Um, you can recycle tires, electronics, most things with a cord, and um, and also use motor oil as well. As long as it doesn't have petroleum or other contaminants in it, you can take it to any of those sites. Now, is there some online resources people can go to to learn more about the recycling program or solid waste? Yes, if you have specific questions about recycling in Fayetteville, you can go to fayettevillenc.gov slash recycling. Excellent, and I understand there's also the Cumberland County web has a website as well about that too. Yes, cumberlandcountync.gov is where to go if you're looking for those 16 county container sites where you can recycle e-waste and um, tires and things like that for free. Now, when we talk about blue carts, this is typically the residential. This is for homes out there, uh, but what about for people that you know maybe live in an apartment complex or just outside of the city limits? Yes, yeah, so they can take their recycling, again, for free to any of those 16 Cumberland County sites. Well, Anna, I want to thank you for coming on and sharing all those great tips. Is there any last message you'd like to share with our watchers at home? Yes, the last thing I would say is we mentioned reduce, reuse, recycle at the beginning of the video and reduce and reuse are key. So even though recycling is a great tool, it still takes energy to haul that recycling and turn it into something new. But if you use reusable bags and skip those disposable bags, if you use um, uh, reusable dishware at home and um, and skip the uh, disposable plastic bottles, then that really goes a long way in conserving, um, reducing space and landfills and conserving resources. Well, Anna, thank you for coming on and sharing that great information. And I want to thank you for watching.